Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to review simple, compound, and complex sentences. First, we have the simple sentence. A simple sentence has one independent clause, it has one subject, and one predicate. Next, we have compound sentence. A compound sentence has two independent clauses. They are joined by a conjunction, a coordinating conjunction. There are seven coordinating conjunctions. You can remember them by using fanboys. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Those will be your coordinating conjunctions that are in your compound sentence. Warning, don't be fooled by and. In a sentence like this, I like pepperoni and black olives on my pizza. The and is joining two words, not two independent clauses. A compound sentence has two ind independent clauses. So look on either side of your conjunction and make sure you have two independent clauses. Last, we have a complex sentence. Uh, this sentence consists, consists of an independent clause and a dependent clause. Now let's review what an independent clause and a dependent clause are. An independent clause can stand alone as a simple sentence. A dependent clause cannot stand alone even though it has a subject and a predicate. Both independent and dependent clauses have subjects and predicates. If you look at the sentence below, I got in big trouble when my parents discovered the broken window. The independent clause is in red. It makes sense by itself. The dependent clause is in blue. It does not make sense by itself. It needs more information. Your complex sentence will also have a subordinating conjunction. Here's a trick for remembering the difference between an independent clause and a dependent clause. An independent clause is a sentence that can stand by itself. It doesn't need any help. A dependent clause is not a sentence that can stand by itself. It depends on an independent clause to help it be part of a complete sentence. Your complex sentence will also have a subordinating conjunction. To review, the subordinating conjunction is the, in the middle of the complex sentence. When it's in the middle, no comma is needed. So if you look at, I am starving because I didn't have time to eat breakfast this morning, because is your subordinating conjunction. That does not need a comma when it comes in the middle of the sentence. Number six, although Cam was invited, he chose not to attend the party. That has your subordinating conjunction coming at the beginning. Although is your subordinating conjunction. When it comes at the beginning, you will have to put a comma after your dependent clause. A subordinating conjunction starts the complex sentence. A comma is needed at the end of the dependent clause. Now, we're going to decide which label fits the following series of words. You have to decide, is it a simple sentence? Is it a compound sentence with the coordinating conjunction? Or is it a complex sentence with the subordinating conjunction and the independent clause and the dependent clause? And then your last choice is none of those. Is it just a group of words? If you picked simple sentence for this one, you were right. It just has one subject and one predicate. Okay, let's practice again. Regan was dreading the test, yet she just wanted to get it over with. You look at this one and decide if it's simple, compound with your coordinating conjunction, complex with your subordinating conjunction, or none of those. I'll give you a couple minutes to think. If you picked compound sentence, you are correct. 
you see we have a coordinating conjunction yet connecting two independent clauses. Which label fits these words? You're picking between simple, compound, complex, or none of those. My voice was shaking when it was my turn to speak. I'll give you some think time. Yes, this is a complex sentence. It has your subordinating conjunction when, it has an independent clause, my voice was shaking, and it has a dependent clause, when it was my turn to speak. Okay, let's practice some more. Which label fits the following series of words? Colin practices basketball for 30 minutes a day. I'll give you some think time. Right, this is a simple sentence. It has one subject and one predicate. No conjunctions in this sentence. I wanted to buy a new Lego set with my birthday money, but my mom made me put all of it in the bank. Okay, we need to decide, is this simple, compound, complex, or none of the above? I'll give you a couple minutes to figure this out. If you said compound sentence, great job. This has your comma in it, and it also has your coordinating conjunction, but it's connecting two independent clauses. Here's some more practice. While mom went to the post office, I read my Harry Potter book in the van. Is this simple, compound, complex, or none of the above? You think about it. If you picked complex, you were right. This sentence has a subordinating conjunction at the beginning, while. So you have your dependent clause, while mom went to the post office. And then you have your independent clause, I read my Harry Potter book in the van. Remember, when the dependent clause is at the beginning of a sentence, you have to add a comma, which is why there's a comma in this sentence. Okay, great, you made it to the last one. Which label fits the following group of words? Before we go to the bank, is this a simple sentence? Compound sentence? Complex sentence? Or none of the above? If you said none of the above, awesome job, because all this is is a dependent clause. It has a subordinating conjunction at the beginning. Before, that makes it a dependent clause before we go to the bank, cannot stand alone. So it is not a simple sentence, it's not a compound sentence, it's not a complex sentence. It's just a dependent clause that cannot stand alone. Okay, good job today.